Whether you get the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine, both require a second dose before you're fully vaccinated. The CDC is updating its guidelines on when to get that second shot. The agency now says it's likely okay to wait up to six weeks. The old guidance said to wait four. And officials now say in exceptional situations, if you can't get the same vaccine brand you had for the first dose, it's probably okay to get the other brand. So if you got Pfizer the first time, but it's not available, you could be protected with the second Moderna shot. The new guidance could mean good news as we face a limited supply of vaccines and a higher demand for them. But even though the CDC says it's okay to wait a little longer, do doctors agree? Philip Townsend explains some differing opinions and what you need to know. Expanding vaccine access to more groups raises a question among the experts. What happens if more time passes between the first and second shot than was approved by the FDA? Recently, the UK decided to space out the doses up to 12 weeks in order to give the first shot to more people. I would say we have to stick with the FDA approved uh, product uses. To alter from that Without more data, I think in itself is not the right thing to do. Dr. Michael Osterholm says the delayed second dose is shown to be effective in the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is given in the UK, but not yet in the US. Osterholm says it's unknown whether the same would apply to the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. There's less clarity with the mRNA vaccines. There, we don't really know as much. An article in Science Magazine raises the question of whether too much time between doses would allow the emergence of a mutated strain that the vaccine wouldn't protect against. But that's not how uh, immunity works. Dr. Vincent Raj Kumar from the Mayo Clinic, one of the world's leading researchers of plasma cells, which make antibodies, says he believes the worst thing that could happen if too much time elapses between doses is that the inoculated person's immunity will wane. But he disagrees with the theory that it could create a breeding ground for a variant that can outsmart the vaccine. So as long as we are committed to giving the second dose in a reasonable period of time, then I think that the risk that mutations will arise is not there. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.